this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you two easy tools to remove almost anything from your photos. So one way we can do this is by grabbing our lasso tool and simply circling out the object that we want to remove and then right clicking and choosing content aware fill. This will open up the content aware fill menu and you can see it's going to cut out this area in green using this automatically detected surrounding texture that it sees. But it's not going to use all this other stuff like the street lights because that won't match. You do have some settings in the content to wear section. You can see a preview of what it will look like. So you can try to see if things aren't looking right or if it's catching a certain part of her arm or the bottle. You want to make sure that is painted out. Or if you want to give more information to Photoshop, you can choose this minus tool and kind of give more information to allow Photoshop to work with so that you can paint in this section. In general, for the most part, you can just leave everything on auto as it is. Also, you see it's choosing to output it onto a new layer. So any of this additional touch up is just going to be on its own new layer. That way, if you want, you can always kind of blend it or work with it or, or delete it. If you want to go back to your original image, it separates things. Now, let's say I'm working, let's go back to our original layer. Let's say I want to do something else. I want to remove the logo from her purse for some reason. I can do the same thing. I can highlight it. I can right click. Um, you also have the option, instead of going to the content aware fill menu, to just go to fill and choose content aware as the fill and press OK. That'll automatically do it on top of this layer instead of a new layer. But let's say, for example, I wanted to remove this 13th Street sign. This is too specific of an area. And I believe if we do try to content aware fill, you see it messes up. It doesn't really have enough information to pull from. This is where you can choose to head over on the left hand side to your clone stamp tool. So you have this clone stamp tool here. And what the clone stamp tool allows you to do is adjust your brush size. And you can choose a soft round brush for a nice blending. And you can hold the option key. That'll give you a point to select, like a target. And then you can take that point and you can brush it onto other points of the image. So in this case, I can kind of paint in by hand. And I want to work a little bit from the left, a little bit from the right. So we're kind of centering in on the image. And now I've successfully remove this sign. Perhaps I want to put a fake street name or something else in there. And I had to do that by hand. Additionally, you have the option to do little touch ups like this by hand with the clone stamp tool. So for example, I let's just say I don't like this little patch in the pavement. I want it to look cleaner. I can do that. Um, I can get rid of small details sampling from one area and constantly resampling from other areas. You do have to keep in mind when there's a pattern, you want to be careful how you're sampling. So if I'm sampling from this line right here, I want it to follow. So I want to sample from here and I, I don't want to take this and make it misaligned. Paying attention and keeping those straight lines can really help you have a realistic result. Now, sometimes when you are using the lasso tool, let's say I lasso out very large portions of the image. In this case, it's working well because we have so much um, of this textured information of the street, like kind of this asphalt texture works well for content aware. If I were to right click content aware, fill this, you see Photoshop is going to pull from all these points and I can press OK. It does get to be a little too much in some areas. You can almost see this blurriness where Photoshop was filling in my selection and that obviously makes it look like the image has been retouched. This is where you can combine the content aware fill tool with tools like the clone stamp tool. So I can go in there, I can hold option sample some of these points around, kind of just fill in. A quick shortcut you can use is the right bracket and left bracket key will make your brush bigger or smaller. 
And I can just sample out. Another thing you can do is com holding command, pressing minus or plus will zoom in or out of your work area. But you can see I'm, I'm just sampling from the areas directly in proximity. And I can add some better texture to these blurred out areas, even though we've done a lot of the work with content aware. Another tool that you have for this type of thing is the spot healing brush tool or the, or the healing brush tool. So if you click spot healing brush, you can choose to content aware heal and you can simply paint in a certain area and it will try to content aware. So if I want to make this paint job on the street line look a little fresher, I can do that as well. Or if I want to kind of fill in some of these blurry areas. So really this is just kind of like another form of the same idea that the clone stamp is doing. Uh, it's taking one area and brushing it in and content aware filling. So the clone stamp tool is great for when you, when the AI or the, the computer is being kind of not intelligent and you got to go in there by hand um, and make sure you don't get certain portions in your image that you don't want. Great for manual touch-ups and just the general content aware fill works for 90% of everything else. So between content aware fill and these manual stamping and brushing and healing tools, you could remove almost any object from most photos. My name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and check out hundreds more in the playlist on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.